Gilchrist. This is my pottery studio, Chitola Pottery Studio. I first moved up to Dorset um, because my family's cottage is here and its name is Chitola Lodge and it's my favorite place in the whole planet. I will call myself a potter sometimes, but and sometimes a clay artist. Um, but I feel more comfortable, even though I don't know. I feel like sometimes it feels cliche just to call myself an artist. Just be functional things because because especially functional things that are used in the kitchen and around meal times because eating um, and consuming drink is such a such a personal ritual that we all have to do every day actually nourishing your body with the help of of my pots it feels like a really great honor each winter, um, at least the last four winters, I have made a journal, and like a watercolor journal, and they're really simple, um, very childlike drawings and watercolors, but I wanted a way to record my time. My most creative stuff comes from from being able to have a home base um, I've you know the journals and stuff as I've been traveling those are really great um, but for the most part I really need to have stuff out and visual to see it that's why my pottery wheel is always dirty I have my tools everywhere my beads when I'm doing beading even if I haven't done it for weeks of making jewelry it's everywhere because if it's put away then um, then I don't think about doing it. Having a place where I live and work that are so connected um, that's where I feel the most free. So, yeah, we, because it's just us, we can do pretty much whatever you want. I try to always be enjoying the process because I want that to be felt in the final piece, but the pots and the clay stuff, I feel satisfaction having the finished product, more so at times than the process, whereas everything else in my life and my home and all the other projects that I'm working on that aren't clay related, that don't have to necessarily bring in money, but they're things I need to do, I want to do, they're creative ideas, I find I get the satisfaction just out of the process. My whole space here and the fact that I live here I feel like people get inspired when they come here. So it's it's been a process of maybe some people wouldn't consider that a work of art, but I feel like the space is um, totally a work of art. At the end of the day, I'm not. I'm much more interested in connecting with people and having a nice connection and having them come away with learning something different. That makes me feel really great that I'm able to 
live my dream, basically, not basically, fully live my dream, um, and that people see me doing that, and then that gives them, hopefully, maybe, some of them, the courage to think, oh, well, she's doing it, maybe I can do it, and make the world a better place. I create more than just things out of clay. I'm creating this whole living space and workspace and um, my life feels like a work of art.